The other direction, however, is a little bit technical. Suppose we start with the uniform discreteness property, namely this property. And now we want to prove that the subset K is pre-compact, namely it has compact closure. Now, suppose for every lattice lambda in K, intersection of lambda with the both centered at zero is equal to zero with some pre-given S greater than zero. We want to show that K is pre-compact. And to this end, we will first prove, we will first claim that one can find the basis B1 does it all B sub D in lambda that belong to a given ball of radius depending on S and the dimension D. We know by assumption that the spaces has to be bounded away from zero. In particular, any element here should, be, should have norm greater or equal to S. But now we are claiming that those elements, those spaces elements, as vectors cannot be too long. It has to also to be bounded within a given ball of radius depending on S and D. And we shall do this in a couple of steps and by induction. First, let's choose vector B1 in lambda with the property that The norm of B1 is the minimum such that B1 is the shortest non-zero vector in lambda. Namely, the norm of B1 is the minimum among all those non-zero vectors in lambda. And it follows from our assumption on lambda that B1's norm. And furthermore, the multiples, the integer multiples of B1 is equal to lambda intersection, the lines through B1. And now we claim that, that the norm of B sub 1 also has an upper bound that only depends on D. This can be shown by noticing the following fact. If the ball with radius 2R centered at 0 does not contain a lattice point of lambda with origin removed. And if, if it does not contain a non-zero lattice point, then if you consider the following natural embedding of the ball centered at zero with radius r, into the quotient Rd mod the lattice. Then, if you consider the map from the ball centered at the origin with radius r into Rd mod the lattice, 
bijection onto its image and the volume of rd mod lambda remember we assume the lambda when the lambda is unimodular this volume is 1 and this guy is greater or equal to the ball centered at 0 with radius r and this inequality follows from this embedding because this is how the Lebesgue measure in here is induced from the Lebesgue measure in this Euclidean space. But what is the volume or the measure of the ball centered at zero with radius r? You, we know by calculus, we know by, by the multivariable calculus, this is equal to the constant times r raised to the power d. And this constant only depends on d. And this gives the upper bound for r such that the ball of radius 2r centered at 0 does not contain a non trivial lattice point of this guy, of this lambda. But if you choose r to be bigger than that, if you choose r to be, say, 1 over c sub d raised to the power 1 over d plus 1, then if we have the ball centered at 0 with radius twice of that, can be 2 times this power plus 2 centered at 0 contains b1, the vector b1. So, so, you have found a constant that only depends on d, only depends on d, also independent of lambda, such that b1 is in this ball. In that way, we give an upper bound for the norm of b1 that only depends on d. So far, we have found a constant that only depends on d, denoted the cd bar, such that the shortest vector in any given lattice in the d-dimensional Euclidean space is bounded by this constant. I should emphasize that this is true for any unimodular lattice. You can find a constant that only depends on dimension d, but independent of the choice of, choice of this lambda, such that the shortest non-zero vector in this lambda has norm bounded by this constant. And that is a good end of the beginning. Remember, in this claim, we want to find the basis of lambda that belong to a given ball of radius depend only on s and d. And I should call this claim the superclaim. Superclaim because there will be other claims, and we have done a very good beginning.